My name is Joseph Charles Cullen, the new face of art. Now this one is kind of uh, spot 33. It's uh, for somebody for the spot paintings that uh, like this color scheme kind of thing. So it's kind of a request. Oh, cut it. Actually, make it first before. It, oh. Okay, so. Kind of nervous with this one because it has to look good. Oh. Ah. So. The other one side was kind of perfect and like happens with a lot of my art that it's not perfect but nothing in the world is perfect except this stamp is going to be perfect. Oh that's pretty good actually. I'm very happy with this one. Literally took about three seconds, about an hour to do the actual face paint. Took a while for this one. That's basically what it looks like, guys. So I was, I was hoping this side would look like that side, but it's just the way it is. But the pay streak in this one is a lot on this side. The stamp, that's the fingerprint. The way the white and everything shows through in there, that's kind of unique. And then this is your gold street on this side. This is a very nice one. It would look very nice with a gold frame. This is spot 33. Let's just take a look at this one. Very nice. I really like this one. Well, spot. Gonna hold this so it doesn't fall over. So number thirty-three. Come on, I can't get a pen. Works right. I've had people say, well, why do you have to have the big face? People that know art understand that my face is the paintbrush and I'm basically showing you where you see the big face here, that's the paintbrush. 
So imagine, imagine if an artist had a paintbrush and they just painted the brush one time and then they made a painting with a paintbrush, like just one shot. And, but they showed the paintbrush first. That's what I'm doing with my face. I'm showing the paintbrush. And the art that is on my face. Actually, show you here. See my face? See how it's destroyed now? Like the art is destroyed. The paintbrush has been used. paintbrush has been used and to make this so obviously I have to have the paintbrush my face up on big to show you it's this piece of art that you see there is making this piece of art and the history and even I was looking at uh, my Connor McDavid. Make sure my hands are clean. This is my Connor McDavid. 10 by 10. The other ones are 4 by 6. And when I was watching the video of the Con Connor McDavid, I was saying to myself, Imagine if somebody, and I'm sure it's happened, uh, if somebody is like looking at the actual painting and then, you know, that's not even a story. The story is the video that you're watching kind of thing that makes the paintings. And, and basically, that's what makes the paintings. And, and I was looking at the colors of that. And when I actually went and looked at the painting, the the video of me painting my face with it, and I'm going, okay, like, it's so unique. Now, so unique. That's why the price, that's why I want my, and you know what, I want my art to be safe through time where a lot of people are in, is their art's never gonna be around forever kind of thing. Like I was just going to a secondhand clothing store in Edmonton and there's a wall full of paintings. And I went and looked at those paintings and some are really nice paintings and you could tell that you know somebody made these paintings and then gave it to people and then those people just gave it up sometimes I think it's a big mistake me giving paintings to anybody and I think I'm gonna stop doing that except for the canvas gold bars I'm only gonna give it to people that want the paintings because I'm scared that people are you know not gonna be careful with his paintings because if these paintings ever go somewhere in the world and there are a lot and I want them to be worth a lot of money because of the way you see the art being done this is the paintbrush it's never been done in a history art before people body painted like painted their body kind of thing and then rolled around on canvas or finger painted and everything so you could almost say was well, well your thing has been done before no not with the face not with Patron painted on the face to be a paintbrush like like the way you see it this is this is art to me and the ounce price for this one is one thousand four hundred and sixty dollars and fifty cents is what the price is today I just checked so and this is a piece of art that sits on your wall and your wall becomes the mine and this is your gold streak that goes back into your wall forever kind of thing and you have a gold mine on your wall 
that makes an ounce of gold every single day forever. Whether people take that seriously or not, it's up to them. But it doesn't matter because it's already it's done. It's done. This is a very nice one. And you can't I'm gonna put this in the stand. Get a stand here. So, so, so I can I always keep them up for like a week on my desk here. So I can admire it during the week. This is a very beautiful one actually. Um it's an ounce of gold price every single day. $1,460.50 every single day forever that this canvas gold bar produces forever. It's a slice of your wall on your mind. It's a, your mind goes back into your wall. This is the piece of art bringing that ounce of gold out every day. Uh, just interpret it any way you want. I say. Now, as for the war painted face, because some people don't like that, like watching this video and they see the little. But if you, if you're somebody with art, people do understand that. Yeah, this is the paintbrush you're looking at. Even though I'm staring back at you, and you know, some people say, "Well, it just it seems a little uneasy because you're not used to seeing a human being looking at you with war paint on." It only happens in war or ceremonies. So you could almost say this: this is like a ceremony, and you know, you're looking at something that's never been done before. It is that simple. I people just don't get it sometimes don't get it but you know what oh it's really far-fetched Chuck with the but it doesn't it doesn't matter because that's what I want and long after I'm gone I hope someday people start picking these up and take it for what it is a new medium on canvas done in a new style in a new way it's never been done I had somebody in the past here even said you know I'm in a I'm in a big art fair and I'm looking at all the art and I just kept on thinking what looks similar what is similar to Chuck's art Joseph Charles call people call me Chuck and they couldn't find anything anything similar so the person said to me as, as you could tell I never try to say anybody's name because if if there's a lot of controversy with this I don't want people you know being ridiculed because they like my art come on if you this is a very I just I actually thought this out and everything how I'd look uh, gold and black I even got some gold kind of smeared up here in the forehead kind of thing really like smeared in not real gold been a theatrical face paint they use in theaters and Broadway and stuff like that time is our friend time is our ally Anybody that owns a Joseph Trust Count painting is is the first ones in the world to have a piece of art that is controlled by time. The minutes of a day, 24 hours. Even though these canvas gold ones are the ounce of gold, they're still 1,440 minutes in a day and it's pretty close to 1,460. So technically you could almost say this is minutes of the day kind of thing. Divide $20 or something into the minutes of the day without it's left over from 460, 440. So 
What can I possibly say that I've never said a million times? This is real. This art's real. It's not a joke. You look at a lot of paintings in the world and, and a lot of paintings in the world that are worth millions of dollars even at this size. There's, there is paintings worth a million at this size. It's because of provenance. It's because of the circumstance it's in. It's, it's because of where it's been in the world kind of thing. And my art stands by itself. Because you don't need providence. You don't need any of that. You just need time. Father Time prices my art. I don't. My art is not priced by me. It's priced by time. I gave the value of a dollar a minute. That's it. But time itself prices my art. And what's that worth? It's something first in the world. Nobody's even thought about it. And... looks good just the way everything just one of those few paintings that uh, really looks good and that would look beautiful in the gold frame it really would even the triangle turned out really good stamped really nice huh. and this art you know, my art, some of it is not pretty looking. It's not like a lot of people, well, it's got to be like a big, massive painting. You know what? How many artists in the world just have massive paintings and, and they try and sell them for four, five thousand, six thousand? These are limited. It's only going to be 100 canvas gold bars, including one live one. And. So it'd be 99 in one live one. And my other, my other art, what's the time on this here? 17 minutes. Try to keep this about 30 minutes or so. So my other art is the dollar a minute ones. That's at 99 plus the live. And this is the canvas gold bar, which will be 99 plus, plus the live one. Um, if you're watching this video and you're intimidated by you know what you see or you don't like it there's a reason for it it's because once again this is the paintbrush that you look in the picture there that's the paintbrush that painted this painting you just kind of think differently on how art is done with me that's all there's to it and that this is a unique thing no paintbrushes I never touched the paintbrush basically maybe once or twice in my life basically <laughs> did I oh, my glass paintings about four or five was a paintbrush one acrylic painting from the very first one I've ever did this it's in like the number seven upload where I show you that just the top part of the painting it's the rest I don't know where it is I'm trying to actually find it to tell him, they said, listen, you got the first acrylic painting and the only acrylic painting for me of all my art. And maybe you better kind of protect it a little bit. And if people took that seriously and said that was a dollar a minute because I was done 1988, it'd be 30 years, which would be $15 million. And if billionaires buy my art and say it's all done by the second, then technically that's the first billion dollar painting confirmed. It's a stretch. But I had one rich person that considered them, themselves rich say that anybody looking at the link on the bottom in the comment section and they see the dollar per minute which is the minutes is the price would bother them too much when they see the seconds where the seconds are in a millions of millions of seconds and 
to have a piece of art with the chance of them as a billionaire saying, okay, me and a bunch of other billionaires got together and all, as far as we're concerned, all Joseph Charles called paintings, they were pricing at a dollar a second. And originally, if you go way back to the first canvas gold, which is, I think, number 50, Upload 57, number one. Upload 56, number one, around there. I said back then, they were all a dollar per second. But people just said, you know, at a dollar per second, you'd want 120 million in two years for your painting. And they thought it was just crazy, which I even think it's just, even a dollar a minute, sometimes I kind of wonder, you know, I could literally have put a price tag of $1,000 each on every single one, and I probably would have sold them. Probably could have even $500, maybe even a couple thousand, because it's such a unique thing. But you know what? I want you out there who own my art, who have my art, to go through life knowing that this piece of art goes up canvas gold price one thousand four hundred and sixty dollars and fifty cents every single day forever and the art world galleries everybody in the world and remember you're watching a channel that no art art galleries in the world maybe very few know I exist you're watching somebody right now that, yes, the galleries, the art world doesn't know I exist. All the subscribers on this channel is not art people. It's from something else that I did and kind of quit. And, and all of them are not here because of my artwork very few I'd say maybe subscribers since in the last two years there's maybe and I was looking it's maybe less than a hundred that actually subscribed to my channel maybe a couple thousand that I, and since the last two years there's a couple thousand views so people in the art world don't know what's coming that it, one guy who owns my stuff he says listen it's just he says once you get the mainstream and here's this crazy guy in war paint and he's asking for a dollar a minute or ounce price on his art where the the mainstream art world will come on board he, he's quite sure of it And I still see people's reactions. I even seen one guy in West Edmonton Mall that owns my uh, one of my art. I just seen his reaction when I explained to him. And he works in an art place and he is an actual art dealer. And you know who you are if you happen to be watching this. And I just seen the look on his face and everything when I explained to him and how there's the video backing everyone up and this, this is the pricing. And, and then I've seen reactions from different people over time that every type of reaction you could think of people just literally laughing at me other people that know the art world a little bit saying you know it's just a matter of time and like i said you watching this video right now if you watch this far you're the very few in the world that know i exist and there's going to be a day where everybody every gallery everybody in the world is going to know who i am because i have the work I have 200 pieces of art as of right now, ready to go. The warrior that's looking at you right now on this little video in the corner and the picture is serious. If you're lucky enough to have one piece of my art, 
any way you look at it, it's about $60 an hour, that uh, 24 hours every single day forever. It's not impossible. There's multi-millions of dollars in art out there, but it's only the top 1% one, 1 and there's just 1% of 1% of that of that is in play kind of in the art world. Certain artists that people just want elevated. But with my art, yeah, there there's big artists out there, even big famous artists out there. Actually, there's I need to scratch. If you love art, you know that there's certain pieces of art out there from certain artists that's kept artificially high because people in their own interests want to keep it high and, and want to prop that value up. The thing is with my art, every single one is going up 1,440 every single day. And Father Time's taking care of that for me. I, the only price I put on is a dollar a minute or the ounce of gold. And I put it to Father Time. And I say, Father Time, you got all the time in the world. I don't. So you need to take care of this. You need to take care of this art. And I really believe, I really believe that my art is unique enough in the art world when it, when the art world grabs hold of it and says, you know, that yes, this is a very special thing. Uh, you know, we'll make an exception in the art world for you because can't stop it it's controlled by time father time is my father and he is the only one that could price my art nobody in the world can price my art no auction house nothing auction house sells it in the future they have to sell it for literally the minutes in the future or for whatever it is you can never sell it lower so what's it worth this treaty status North American native from Denny Ta First Nation and Canada, Alberta, Northern Alberta has a piece of art that's unique in the world that it's time controlled. What's that worth? Do I want to? simple thank you so much for watching my stuff and watching my art and I hope you believe in it I hope you do because you're the very few who's watching this right now very few that even don't know and imagine seeing me in the arts world and war paint and people taking picture of me one day in war paint and then the next show I'm a different war paint next show a different war paint and then you could actually see say say this was a show and say this is my first Edmonton show and this is the war paint that did my first show then in future media and stuff like that, you know, when people take pictures uh, to say, oh, this is just Trust Collins' first show. This is him in the, and this is the war paint I wore at that show. And then I go to a different show, say in New York, which is what's going to happen. And I'm a different war paint. And then people taking pictures of me all over the, from media all over the world. Oh, look at this crazy guy making paintings with his face. And they even say, 
then you know it's an era. It's from the, oh, that's the war paint from the, that's Joseph Charles Cohn from the New York show. He'll go to Paris. Different war paint, different media exposure, people taking pictures. And, oh, and that's the, that's the Paris show. That's the Dubai show. That's the Dubai in 2020. That's the Dubai 2021, 22. You understand? It's just like, it's just like you see Warhol or some other artist, and, and you know they're wearing a certain jacket or a certain uh, uh, outfit, and you go, oh, well, that's him from the New York show or this era. Me, instant rec recognizable with my face. And the triangle that you see there is the mountain you can't climb. The circle there that's kind of by itself there is kind of like your dream. And your dream is to take that and get to the top of the mountain. If you take the side of the mountain, which is up on this side here, to the very top, the straight road, you know, you, maybe that means you're lucky, you won the lottery, Mommy and daddy got you there, you know, it gets you to the top. The other side, on this side, is, you know, there's, takes a little time to get to the top, you know, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you still have to work at it. But it's a mountain, and, you know, to be happy, you have to make it to the top of your own mountain. That's what that means. That's what it means. It's a mountain you can't climb. That's why I have these carabiners on. Oh. That's the first time I've shown this besides the live show. And the live shows, I wear this and other ones I'm adding on to it. This is my carabiners that I wear it's on the mountain. The mountain you can't climb without, without, the, without the proper equipment. That's what that is, guys. See? That's what you're going to see on my shows is this climbing gear, different ones going to be on this side, but that's kind of, you know, I'm on the mountain, you can't climb. So. It's very special to me. Because what I'm trying to do in art is insanely impossible. And like I said, you're one of the very few that's watching this right now. Very few that's watching this video. And very few in the art world disregard 16,000 people on this channel. Because they're not watching me. You, as real artists and friends and family, maybe are watching me. And very few probably even made it to the end of this video because I'm known to ramble a lot. But you know what? People will be watching this. If my art gets famous and gets big, people are going to be watching this for a thousand years from now. So, because these videos are connected to my art. And I got all the videos. I got all the videos like safely on stored and everything. In case I have to upload them if something happens to this channel so I upload like they're all safe so but it's all there's to it guys what else can I say and thank you so much for being here I hope I hope an artist that inspires you in some way saying you know what what is art art is 
you could price it whatever you want. Art is you could do it any way you want. There's no regulations in 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 art for money or anything. It depends on people buying it. You know, that's what's the regulations. If people see a value in it, they're gonna buy it. If people think it's crap, they ain't gonna buy it. Mine, the paintings are all timed price and some are crap. Some don't look like really nice paintings because they're kind of misfits, some of them. I, I looked, I have a closet full of them here and I was looking at some and, and you know, a lot of the really nice ones I've given away to friends and family and stuff like that. And the really ugly ones I, I kept because some of them, they're not great. And they don't look like really nice art, but you can remember, it takes three seconds for me to put this art on on to the canvas and I have no control of what it looks like but you know what it's unique I'm unique you buy my art you're unique if you're somebody out there in the art world if you're somebody that's in a gallery or anything like that and you spent the last 36 minutes is this what is this what is this video what is this piece of art remember if you divide it up into 24 hours it's roughly 1440 so you know it's roughly about sixty dollars an hour so the time you took you just this painting went up about thirty five dollars and tomorrow it's up a thousand four hundred and sixty and fifty cents and if you debate another day after that then it's another thousand four hundred and sixty and fifty cents and so on a year from now times that by 365 I had somebody about a year and a half ago that uh, showed them in a store my art and I tried to explain and they says oh well three thousand dollars for that it was only like a day or two old one of the time priced once and and oh that's I can't afford that I can't I and it you know if I'm gonna put three thousand dollars in a piece of painting like a art I'd get something that's like 30 by 30 and it's worth three grand and I said so you you really think my art's not worth three grand for at the time he says, so you you don't think this is worth three grand, a 10 by 10 of a treaty status native that conjured up the spirit of a warrior to fight for your financial, financial future forever? That this goes up every day by time forever? And then that person, just uh, after seeing him about a year, year later, so how's your art doing, Chuck? How's your art doing? I said, it's getting there, it's getting there. Got a couple little sales here and there, but nothing like huge or anything like life-changing huge. And he says, well, he says, I looked at the painting that we were discussing about the 3,000 that was a year and some ago. And they even said, and he says, if I if you got big by now I'd be kicking myself because then all I had to do is give you 3000 and that painting is half a million dollars and I believe in my heart that these paintings are worth half a million dollars I do believe that because it's the only paintings that's connected to time say I have 50 paintings that are technically mine right now out of 129 canvas paintings, you know, I could say that it, it, 
goes up sixty dollars times one hundred and twenty-five an hour, or one thousand four forty times one hundred every day. Kind of messes with your mind a little bit because no matter what, the price is goes up, and you can't bring it down because it's connected to time. Anyways, it's 40 minutes. I'm starting to ramble. I'm, I'm trying to be cautious, cautious about that. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but every video sounds like a broken record, basically, because it's wanting life. I want this in my life. I want this in your life. I want this in the world. I want the world to take it seriously. And you know what? I think someday could be serious. It's gonna be serious. No doubt about it. I am an artist. I am an artist that created something unique in the world and the main art world doesn't know who I am. The main art world doesn't know I exist. Only you know I, I exist. You only, only you. And people who see this video and just don't care about art, they just don't care. But if you're watching this, then you realize there's maybe there's something that you're seeing something, seeing somebody before he's famous in the art world or in the world in general. And I thought long and hard about the bunny. Let's talk about what if money. What if a million dollars fell in my lap? People are becoming millionaires off my paintings. Just say what if it happens that 50% of my art sells for the pricing of what it is. And half of would be the half a million to a million range. Just say what if it was four years from now and all the paintings in a range of two million dollars. And that people were actually getting rich off my art because my art is limited to only a hundred and a one dollar minute, hundred and canvas gold bar ones. And, and chances are I'm not going to do anything except something totally different on this channel after but what if, what if all of a sudden 50 paintings sold and for $2 million each in four or five years from now? And I have 110 million dollars in the bank. It's quite possible, you know, two years ago I could never say that. I, because this never existed. None of this existed. Because you gotta work your butt off to get anywhere in the world. But what if, what if people came up to me and, and said, Chuck, thank you so much for giving me a piece of your art and it made changed my life forever. And thank God all you, your people of media all over the world are talking to you about it and how extraordinary this all became. Just what if we got in a time machine and it was two years from now and you, watching this video right now what would I do with 120 million in a bank I honestly don't know what I'd do it would change my life where I'd do what I want to do I'd be able to travel all over the world to push my art in bigger markets to to say listen this art you could Imagine if multi-millionaires and billionaires all own my art and they say, listen, I bought a Joseph Charles Call painting. There's the time, there's a time stamp in a corner kind of thing. And I buy one for 4.5 million 
and I don't lose my money because there's so many people wanting this art and technically this is like a storage of value for their money like it, it's impossible to lose your money with my art like imagine if imagine if it was so huge that somebody could just throw a couple million into a piece of art and knowing that a hundred percent in a couple years to four years that the value still goes up and you can't stop it because it's connected with time and even if i sat on 30 paintings uh, say for the next 20 years that's 10 million dollars for each one and it would make me a Even if I kept 50% of the canvas gold bars and they're all 1,500 each every single day, they go up. And all of those will reach, say, 10 years, 5 million each times 50. You're looking at like a quarter of a billion dollars. I couldn't even under I couldn't even comprehend what my if the reality was that and just three years or four years from now. Well here I was gonna make this thirty minutes, but now it's at forty six minutes, but you know what? It's what if and the fact is that this I know who owns this uh, spot 33 because it was kind of like they wanted these colors. But the fact is this small four by six painting is a thousand four hundred and sixty dollars and fifty cents. And, and the fact is in 20 years it's around ten million dollars it's hard to believe that but that's what I want uh, that's what I want galleries and people in the future when more people in the world come forward and say okay this guy's got something unique and the world took it in so you could be young guy young woman or whatever you identify as yourself as. I respect that. And. Could make you a multimillionaire. And to be honest. This canvas is literally like. Cost me five bucks. You know to be honest. Wood and all. But how I put it on the canvas, how I price it is priceless. Because nobody's ever done that before. So, say the reality is a reality with the money in four or five years from now, or ten years from now, and, and I have a hundred billion in a bank, what would I do? I'm 50 years old. I don't think I have much more time. I've had a heart attack about four or five years ago. I don't think I it would make it to an older age. Even a cardio doctor says, listen, you know, your heart is damaged at 35% from a couple heart attacks. I, I had one, but they said I had another one, but I don't ever kind of remember it. And so this is just a gift for the people who own my art, basically, in the future. That this art exists in a world that priced by time. And people right now are laughing at me and stuff like that. And you know what? And I know the art world. I know it very well.
With my art, it's simple. You can't lose. It's the only art in the world you can't lose with. It's the only art of its kind in the world, so you can't lose. It's the only way it's done in a certain way you can't lose with it. It's a native. Treaty status can't lose. Can't lose. What's that worth? It's worth whatever it is, priced by time. Because have you ever heard of that in the history of art? No. No such thing. As of now, it is a thing. And remember, you're the very, very few in the world that know it exists. If you watch this to the very end. It doesn't matter how long it is, because it's piece. Of, this video is art. That's on YouTube. You know, one hundred and thirty-three canvas paintings ago, when I did the first one, I never thought I'd even get to this day with this many. Yet a second serious canvas gold bar that just happened. I was coming to the end of the dollar a minute ones. The 10 by 10s. And I was looking at my kilo gold bar one. And when I was, when I painted that all gold and then I noticed other artists in the world painted theirs like all gold and say this is like a gram of gold or this is worth its weight in gold and people have done paintings like that where uh, people actually buy some of those paintings where those paintings are yeah they're like a gram of gold or two grams of gold like they're like a couple hundred dollars anyway. uh, connected to gold price people have done that but those ones people the first thing they do is they look at those and they say you know that's dumb but you, you I even say you know just to have when I looked at the kilo gold and so this looks like all those gold paintings so that's why this does not look like all those all gold paintings that this has style to it it has something to it every single one has a gold streak on it a little bit of gold or more gold on it but every single one is unique canvas gold bar time is our friend time is our ally only time will tell what's going to happen but just remember, if you're watching this, you have very few that know me in the art world. There's a lot of people out there, I suspect, that don't want me to get anywhere with this. But I've been doing this for over two years now. There's no way in hell I'm going to stop now. I got 64, what, 33? I got 62 to go. 62 to go. Where's that fifth? Was it doing 100? I got 33 minus from 100. That's what? That's 50. No, that's 60. That's yeah, I can't even do that. In my head, my head's just so screwed up right now. Doesn't matter. 
I have 60 some to go yet. Fifty four minutes. I'm not even going to do it to an hour. Make it even hour. Screw it. We're done. It's simple. This is unique. First of its kind. What's that worth? I don't know. But Father Time knows. <laughs> 